Hey guys, so we are going to look at finding perimeter when one of our side lengths is missing. So this kind of requires you to be a little bit of a detective and fill in some blanks. So when I come to a figure and I see that almost all the sides are shown, but there's one missing, a lot of times when we're looking at this, it's going to have some kind of a letter showing that it's an unknown length. So in this case, it's going to be an X. You're not always going to see an X. Sometimes it'll be Y. Sometimes it'll be A, B, C. It doesn't matter what the letter is. It just shows you that it's not known. And you're going to figure what that out, what that is. You're going to figure out what that is. Sorry. Um, so when we come to this, I am going to look and see if it's a horizontal side or if it's a vertical side. Now, I see that it's my horizontal side. So I'm going to look at the side opposite it. Um, and if you see that, I have a three and a two. These are both my horizontal sides. Um, and I'm going to look at this as if this side was dropped down right here, okay? Um, because if I take this length and just drop it down, it makes this side length the same as how long this one is. And I'm going to fill that back in really quick. So if I took that and I just put my three right here for right now, which I can go back and erase later on, this is just temporary. I see that this is three plus two. Okay, so when I'm looking at that, I know right away three plus two is five. So this side length down here is five. I can erase this. Quite honestly, I can erase, I can just cross, well, I'll just leave those for right now. I know that this side length right here is five. So I found my missing side, and then I can go through the process of adding my sides up. So I have three, I have one, two, another one. And instead of having that missing now, I know that it's five. And then I have two to finish it off. And then I can go through and group my numbers to be friendly numbers. I already have another five over here, so I'm just going to put those together so that I can add those easier. One, two, three, four. So five plus five is 10. 10 plus four is 14. I don't have any kind of unit of measurement on here, so I'm just going to put pretend that this said centimeters at the beginning and label my answer. All righty, let's do another one. OK, so here's our next figure. This time when I'm looking for um, my missing side length, I see that this time it's a vertical side. That means it goes up and down. So I am going to look across from it and see that it'll be this side and this side that I need to add up. So I'm going to grab a different color so it's easier to see this time. So I'm going to see that this right here, if I fill this in right here, this and this are the same. I'm just going to fill that in right there. So I'm going to look at this as 5 plus 2 equals what my side length will be. Um, and I know that 5 plus 2 equals 7. So I know that C, missing side length C, is actually 7. So now I can go around my shape and find my perimeter, just like I have on my others. Start right, and actually, I'm going to cross this out so I don't look at it when I'm adding up my sides because I don't want to get confused while I'm doing that. Um, so starting over here, I have four plus seven, my missing side length, plus six, plus two, plus two, and then plus five to finish it off. Okay. I'm going to look for easy numbers to add together. That's 10. And I could do 2. And actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to take one of these. Actually, I could do that and do 1 plus 1 and group it so I can do a 10 out of these three. So 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 7 is 10. OK? And then I have 1 plus 5, and that's 6. So I've used up all my sides. I've grouped it together in friendlier numbers, so it's quicker to add. I know 2 tens is 20, and 20 plus 6 is 26. And I'm going to pretend that at the beginning of this, I had my units on there. 
because I keep forgetting to put those on. So my um, unit of measurement is feet. So my label that I put on my answer is going to be feet. 26 feet is the perimeter of the shape. All right.